Hey there, comic book friends. I'm Travis. It's time for the edition of What the View, where I talk about what's going on with me in my week of comics. How's it going, everybody? Um, going well for me. Getting ready to, uh, where I'm living at, dipping into the, well, dipping, I guess, cresting into the triple digits um, this coming weekend. So that to look forward to. I will be hiding in my basement where it's cool and staying out of that nastiness. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's currently on my mind most of all. Um, but yeah, let's talk some comic stuff, shall we? Um, an amendment to last week's What the Few, of course I talked about, uh, you know, I had those websites and talked about um, dollar value, what people were getting paid and whatnot, and I commented that um, there were some people working um, that were getting paid less than minimum wage, basically. You know, I, you know, I think of that and whatnot, and I had some interesting comments back about that. Let's just all bear in mind that um, all of these creators that were getting paid that um, minimal amount of money um, signed contracts to get paid that minimal amount of money. They, they went into that knowing what they were getting paid. Um, so I'm sure there's a number of reasons why you might do that. You know, uh, this is how you get some um, actual work uh, published um, to get it out there so people can see what you, you know what you can do. So then hope you can get better paying gigs down the road. I'm sure that's that's some of it. Um, you know that sort of stuff. But uh, clearly, if you're willing to be a a, um, a creator, uh, educate yourself. I, I I fully think that it's worth the money to I don't know, hire a lawyer for that hour or whatever you need to to look over any contract that you might sign um, to make sure that you're not totally getting screwed. Um, know what your value of your work is and um, attempt to charge accordingly. Um, you know, but I also think that being said that you know those people you know made the choice to get paid that small amount of money to do the work. I still think it's kind of crappy that company would would offer so little to produce something that clearly they're making money on. You know, um, my understanding is the boom is one of those lower um, places that offer less. Um, and their books aren't cheaper than anybody else's. You know, they're the $4 books. And if they're paying that little, I mean, I, I, you know, clearly they're a company that has overhead editors, blah, 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 blah. But still, I, I don't know. Take it for what it was. I just want to let it be known. You know, it's not like that these people, it's not child labor, it's not slave labor, that sort of thing. These people are willfully doing this work. They they signed up to say, yes, I'm willing to get paid this little to, to do this. So, you know, there there is, there's that. You know, it's shocking, but, you know, I guess if you get your foot in the door, that might be a way to do it. Um, so, that's that's being that with what it is. Um, let's see, what else do I talk about? Uh, we, we have heard as far as in the movie world, um, they cast somebody as um, the new Spider-Man. I have no idea who that actor is. Um, somebody in the comments, I'm sure, will comment who it is. There's a million videos out there talking about it. I don't have any intention to talk about it because, you know what, quite frankly, I'm not interested. Um, I'm not interested in somebody new playing Spider-Man if they're just going to keep telling us the same Spider-Man story over and over again as far as origins, as far as all that kind of stuff. I don't care if it's done more the Marvel way as opposed to the Sony way, and so that means it's gonna be better. I don't care. They've shown us way too many of those um, types of movies for me to be remotely interested in if that's what they're telling us. Um, I think it'd be mar more, far more intriguing, like a lot of people would, and, and uh, I'm sure this makes me a, a social justice warrior, and I I'm okay with that if that's what I am. Um, far more interesting story would have been to have had um, um, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, you know, give us that Spider-Man would be far more intriguing. But I also know, as I've talked about a comic round table and stuff like that, um, you know, Peter Parker is the face of Spider-Man. Um, I don't think for mass consumption, the mass consumer would know what to do with somebody who isn't Peter Parker being Spider-Man. Now, smart people, in my opinion, would make a Spider-Man movie. Might have Spider-Man in it, might have Peter Parker in it, but that you introduce uh, Miles Morales and, and do something with that character because he's a, an intriguing character and a character that is becoming much more representative of um, a large chunk of the movie viewing audience because um, a large chunk of the movie viewing audience is not um, white dudes. So, yeah, and um, people like representation. It's, it's a cool thing. Um, so, yeah. You know, that's, that's that as far as that goes. Um, 
And there's some really crappy stuff out there from some really crappy people about the idea of Miles Morales being, um, being Spider-Man. You know, somebody besides a white dude being Spider-Man. So, you know, whatever. Um, those people can live in their small little corner that just keeps getting smaller and smaller, um, as far as, as far as I'm concerned, because that's what's going to happen to them. Um, they're going to get squeezed out. Um, you know, whatever your rationale for why you're upset about that. Um, if you're playing the, the, I'm, I'm a grumpy old comic book fan, um, you probably should get over that too. Um, uh, there's not much traction there for that, and it's, there's not a lot of longevity. Um, you're going to spend most of your time being bitter and not enjoying life. And um, so, you know, figure out how to get over that, how to, how to embrace what's coming and um, new stuff and change and, and exploring something interesting or different or, you know, I guess find a new hobby um, because it, it's... It, it's always kind of changing, um, and and I, I think this is a watershed moment to m make some changes. Uh, if you actually, I believe, if you go back in comic book history, and you go back to the true golden age comics, uh, back before the um, comics code and stuff like that, we had all kinds of stories, w much wider, um, 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 you know, across the board types of comics of every. Um, make and and ilk and and kink and interest was all there it was all there um you know there were um um just a ton of different types of of comics out there and um um uh, with the advent of the um partially with the advent of the comics code and stuff like that um our comics actually got dumbed down and um became much more white bread and, um, you know, and then we get the comics of the 70s, um, which, you know, there are some in the 60s and 70s. Some awesome, awesome comics then. Um, some incredible creators. Some fabulous characters were created during that era. Not anything against that era. Um, but um, it, it narrowed a lot, a lot in comparison to what the golden age of comics was. Um, I feel like to some degree... Um, comics are starting to open back up. Um, I still think there's tons of room for them to open up a whole bunch more. Um, you know, and I guess there's some debate on whether or not that opening up should be the traditional superheroes or not. I think, I think it should. Um, but I, I, you know, I, I get the fact that, you know, some of these characters have always been this. They should stay that and we should introduce other characters in. And, and to some degree, I agree with that. Uh, I would love to see new and inventive and creative and interesting um, uh, characters within the, the, in the main two superhero, superhero universes that were intriguing and interesting and um, were given the chance to get legs under them and become something. We've had some characters that are becoming that, that are, you know, that are gaining um, in popularity and in, um, you know, in value and, um, and I think that's great. I think that's great. Um, so, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm also interested in that wider array of golden age of comics and it, to some degree with the, some of the, or independent comics, the, the, you know, the image stuff, the dark horse stuff, the Oni press stuff that's out there. It feels like it's starting to open back up again. It's not, it's not so girdled and it's not so, um, um, one tone, um, like, comics had been for quite some time. I mean, and clearly through most of my childhood, it was, you know, very, very narrow um, um, focus. So, um, interested in, in that. And, um, you know, I, I'd love to go back to the golden age, not the silver age. Let's go back, way back to the golden age of comics. You know, um, you know beyond, you know, Superman and Batman, even before that, those, you know, comics in the early 50s and stuff like that. There was a lot out there, a lot out there, and the sky was the limit until people started putting rules on them. And of course, the rules were created by um, a bunch of, you know, uh, white, stuffy guys that um, kind of curbed everything. So, at any rate, um, what else do I want to talk about? Um, 
that's been going on or has been on my mind. Um, let's talk videos for a few moments. If, if you're making videos or you're interested in making videos, make the kind of videos that you're interested in making. Whether that be something that's incredibly flashy, you know, with all kinds of music and, and cool graphics and whatever. If that's your game, do it. Do what you want to do, do what you enjoy. If you're interested in producing what other people are interested in, clearly take a litmus test of the people that are around you that you think are watching the show and what they're going to be interested in watching. But I can guarantee you pretty much just about anything that you watch, as long as it has some level of clarity and, and some level of, of, of camera quality enough that we can actually see what's going on when, when the video comes up, there's going to be people who are interested in watching that. You just got to find your niche of people that that, that is. Um, you know, so do your own thing. Don't listen to anybody that might tell you that you, know, you, you have to do it in a particular way, you know, that you have to look like I do, that you have to produce something like I do, that you have to talk about it in the level that I do. Certainly is not the case. Make it what you want to make it, um, a, whatever whatever that 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 is. If you just want to show the cover of a comic book, not talk about it at all, you just want to talk about the other pop culture part of of this wonderful hobby that's collecting comics do it um like i said do it however you want to do it um because it, it's about you it, it's got to be about you first and you producing what you're going to be happy with what you're enjoying um and and what you want to say um you know even if that's repeating what somebody else has said don't take credit for other people's work but you know anyway um make make the videos that you want to make i I've come across some videos lately that um, seem less instructional and more um, preaching a philosophy of this is the right way and this is the wrong way of, of doing something. And, and I, don't, I don't think that's the case. I don't think there's a right and a wrong way as a whole. Um, clearly there are some, um, there's some etiquette that I think everybody should, should follow, you know, be nice or go home kind of stuff but otherwise you know um whatever you know do do what you want to do that's the important thing uh speaking of that um of course once again comic book round table is this saturday um 6 30 ish 9 pacific 9 30 ish eastern ish time we never really start on time but at any rate um well you know if you want to come on get a hold of me let me know hey i want to be on the show whatever um we'll talk some books um I think I have like 17 ish, you know, books uh, this week. A uh, few of the new number ones um, that I'll be curious to read and hopefully get to talk to some people about. Um, but yeah, we'll be happy to see some people on, some new people, some old people that have been on the show before. Um, you know, clearly, I'm on the show every week. Um, you know, pretty much most of the time, Mike and um, you know Sergeant America and um, Luke from um, Luke Batman Reviews. Um, are on fairly regularly now, but that certainly doesn't mean there's not room for you to be on the show too and um, um, talk comic books with us and listen to comic books and whatnot. So the invite is out there. Um, get a hold of me. We'll work out details. Uh, get you on the show so you can talk some comics with us. Um, you know, um, you know, I'll, I'll be up front. I'm looking. I'm hoping to get some other people on the show, um, some different voices. Uh, to hear some different opinions and some different takes on, on what we're talking about, um, you know, not to have you know, knock down, drag out argument about uh, about whatever, but just to have a different, possibly a different take on books or be reading books that I'm not. Um, you know, um, I read a few Marvel books. Mike reads a few Marvel books. I don't know. Oh, Luke reads Spider Man. You know, but it'd be nice to get some other people on and read some of those other Marvel books and whatnot. Um, hear what's going on with uh, some of the Secret War stuff a little bit more. That feels a little underrepresented on the show currently. Um, so yeah, so that would be awesome if somebody wanted to come on and 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 talk that or um, you know um, you know some of you ladies out there. Um, you know I've had Stacy on quite a bit in the past. Um, her currently life is keeping her busy enough that she hasn't a lot of time to either come on the show and and to talk comics because she's been too busy with other stuff, which is. Clearly understandable. Uh, life always comes first. Uh, you know, always, always put the important stuff first, which is um, life before the hobby. Um, 
because you've got your life all screwed up and the hobby gets really rough too then. So yeah, so um, anyway, the invite's out there. Hit me up if you want to be on the show. I don't think I have any other comic related type stuff to talk about. There's no you know, heavy news or anything like that um, that needs to be talked about, I don't think. Anyway, enjoy your week. Um, hopefully this week I will have some sort of talking about comics up. Uh, me personally, um, this week it may just be me. I actually still have comic books to read um, from from last week. I didn't get them all read. I've got like three or four still left to read. Got to get on that. And then so hopefully in the next day or two uh, before the weekend hits, um, I'll talk about some of those books. And um, then we'll clearly be jumping on this week's books. So anyway, uh, have a great one, everybody. And if nothing else, catch you on the weekend. Bye.